Morning everybody. Um, right, I'm up bright and early this morning. I've got my boiler prepared last night. I think I've shown you that in the last video. Uh, and I'm about to do the final silver soldering. I've got me, um, I've got me, uh, me other propane torch mounted on a tripod just to preheat the boiler and then I'm going to go in with my oxypropane to do the to do the stays first and I don't know if you can see around the boiler I've clamped some uh, bolts to use as a heat sink I don't know if it's necessary or not but I'm just belt and bracing it just so I don't melt that out of the solder and then I'm going to spot the spot the stays with solder with the oxypropane so I'll do that now then. Right, so uh, I've managed to get the um, the stays uh, silver soldered in, and I don't know if you can see my arrangement here. It's a bit Heath Robinson, I think, but I've put some heat sinks into the outer firebox too, where it's soldered, just to just to stop me getting that solder too hot, and then I've used my um, oxypropane to um, localise the heat around the stays. So my next job now is to turn it upside down and do the back head and then uh, we'll be moving on to the top uh, front tube plate. Anyway I'll... Uh... OK then uh, I've managed to get my boiler totally silver soldered up now. It's complete. Um, I've just dipped it in acid bath and got all the flux off and that, that's made a good job. There's just uh, a bit of detailing to do on it where on odd, odd place some at solders run and followed flux. So it just wants a bit of tidying up in places. Um, I've had to do this, this part outside because uh, th there's quite a lot of soldering to do and I, and I didn't want to fill my garage up with fumes. So I had to go outside and do it. Now I've done most of the job on my own. Uh, but there were a lot of concentration involved in doing this last little final bit. A lot of parts to do and remember to do. And, and I'm only a novice at this. So uh, I got one of my friends to come up. And he held me past my shoulder and kept an eye on that I hadn't missed anywhere. And that extra pair of eyes... Um, was a godsend really uh, no doubt I could have done it on my own but it made it a lot easier with somebody watching me and able to hold my torch while I manoeuvred boiler around so my good friend uh, Mick come and give me half an hour or so to help me with that now <clears throat> One thing I've not mentioned in the past is what I've been using to, to do the heating of this. It's a big boiler and it takes quite a lot of uh, heat to get that solder to run. Um, I'm using oxypropane and uh, another good friend of mine advised me to use one of these. Uh, we're calling it a pepper pot nozzle. It's got so many holes outside like a pepper pot. 
and uh, that does a really good job. Uh, you could you can manage without any secondary heat using one of these with oxypropane. So I thought I'd just mention that because I don't think I have it passed. Uh, so it's all completed now. Uh, like I said, just a bit of tidying up to do with solders running places, but it's all completed on the on the back head and everything, all the bushes, uh, and then I had to turn it over and do the throat plate, not the throat plate, the barrel tube plate. Put the bush in, put the stays in, and all the tubes, etc. So, you saw me do the the stays earlier on in my garage uh, this morning. Uh, so, it's all completed now. Uh, my next job is to just tidy these these sol runs of solder up, and then I'm going to go ahead and start making the fittings for the boiler. Um, for example, the safety valves, the the check valves, etc., etc. Uh, so that'll be my next job. But as for the boiler, as for the boiler goes, that's completed now. So that's this is the final part of my boiler project. Um, it's been a, quite a long job, but it's been interesting, and. Uh, if you just take your time and take it stage by stage, I'm sure you'll get by. Uh, like I said, I, I'm only a beginner at this and I've never done one before. Uh, it's just a matter of taking your time and not trying to think of too much at once, doing it a step at a time. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for now then and I'll uh, probably do a little video of me doing my fittings for it next. Um, so... Uh, if you've not seen my other videos, take a look at them and uh, if you've not seen other videos of me doing boiler, you can see me do it stage by stage. I think it's 12 parts. Uh, I've tried to keep them as short as possible. Um, so take a look at them. Uh, and if not, I'll catch you on my next little video. So thanks for watching and uh, bye for now then.